Bonjour, good day, welcome to um, the 61st annual DPI NGO conference and to our workshop, Dreams in Action, the Millennium Development Goals Realized, how to design human rights issues into the classroom curriculum to inspire leadership, creativity, and social justice. So please come in and turn cell phones off if you would, thank you. And I'll just tell you a little bit about, about who I am and what the Dream Project is. My name is, as I said before, Kelly Sullivan Walden. And I am an author and I am a, a therapist. And um, I am the president of the Women's National Book Association, Los Angeles chapter. We've been an NGO for 49 years with, in, with DPI. But I am also the founder of the Dream Project. And the Dream Project, was inspired by this conference two years ago. Um, I was first introduced to the Millennium Development Goals, and my and when I was handed the Millennium Development Goals, they they caused my hands to shake. They felt so important to me, and I couldn't believe that this was a charter. This was what the United Nations had as a mission statement. And my first question was, how come I didn't hear about the Millennium Development Goals sooner? And the second question was, why isn't everybody talking about these? And the third question was, what can I do about it? I've, my, my mother taught me, if, if you don't have something positive to say, don't say anything at all. If you're not gonna be in the solution, then, then shut up. So I thought I need to get into the solution. If there's a problem, I need to do my part, my part, whatever that is, to, to help make it better. So while I was in the conference two years ago, this question haunted me and it wouldn't leave me alone. It was, what am I supposed to do with this information? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? And when you ask a question sincerely, I believe that the answer will be revealed. And so within that conference, I, I heard several people speak about the power of young people. And one young person was in attendance at that conference, and they asked Shamina at the at the closing Sarah, at the closing um, roundtable. They said, "Well, how do you get if you're a young person? How do you get anybody to take you seriously?" And she looked at that young man and said, "Take yourself seriously." He said, "Oh, okay." And the whole audience was hushed. And I wrote that down and since shared it with, with many of the kids that I've worked with. But my thought was, I wanna bring the Millennium Development Goals and human rights issues into the classrooms, and what if the children had ideas that, that, that could make a difference? What if these ideas to change the world are, are right in front of our eyes, but we just don't, we don't have the ability to see them? And what if these children, children that are in high school, that are in junior high school, that are in college, because they have an unlimited passion, they have an unlimited imagination, unlimited hope, unlimited belief that anything's possible, perhaps they could affect the tipping point. And I don't just mean the young people, the kids, because I believe there's that youthful spirit in all of us, and when we act, when we come from that place, we've got, that's when we have unlimited access to, to brilliance. Albert Einstein said that the, the solution to the problem doesn't reside in the mind that created the problem. There's, it resides in that solution part of our consciousness. So we connect with the solution, and oh my goodness, we find solutions where we couldn't find them before. There's another Albert Einstein quote, and then I'm gonna show you a little clip from the Dream Project um, video that we've been creating. Imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress, giving birth to evolution. So that's at the heart of, of the work that we're doing. And we've been filming the work that we've been doing in classrooms, finding that the children are getting quite inspired and excited about the Millennium Development Goals, about human rights issues. Instead of it breaking their hearts and making them weary, it's actually activating them and having them connect to their purpose. A little girl, Carla, sixth grader that I worked with, at the end of one of our programs said, nobody's ever asked me before in a classroom what I, what I think about about anything, and you've asked me questions about what I think about changing the world. I didn't know it, but I have all kinds of answers. There's all kinds of, it, I just, just gotta keep asking me. So I feel like there's, there's, there's so many answers that, are, that reside in, 
in these kids and we just need to make an access to them, a bridge to them. Thank you so much for allowing us to be in communication with you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.